There's no health without mental health. Biggest challenge around mental health is the stigma. In 2017, I got depressed for the third time. December 31st, 2021 was a tough one, you know, and um, in fact, even dropped a suicidal note for a colleague in the office. I was clinically diagnosed with depression in 2014. Mental illness is not a death sentence. Sometimes we talk about mental health as if we're talking about mental illness. Mental health, it involves our emotions. We have a large population to attend to. Everybody wants to come to Lagos. Most people would still associate mental health issues with spiritual problems. Culturally, we need to begin to understand more that a person who has a mental health challenge is not a mad person. Mental health disorder, we're asking if it is a neglected disease. Most of the people who need psychiatric care cannot afford it. It's one of those diseases that it's in your mind. You know, you can't see it, you can't palpate it, you can't measure it. Between 4 to 5 percent of the Gaussians actually have anxiety disorders, and between 3 to 4 percent of the Gaussians are actually depressed. So uh, it's, the challenge is huge by the time you realize that we are talking about 20 million people. The number of studies have been conducted in Lagos State. The population are dealing with drug addiction problems, dealing with mood and anxiety problems, you know, dealing with you know, so many emotional, emotional problems. The Lagos Lifeline, which is the state's first telebehavioral health helpline, started in 2020, although it was officially launched in April 2021. And um, we have seen over 10,000 cases. Most of the cases are usually um, depression, substance abuse and suicide, with substance abuse and suicidal attempts being more of the cases that we see. We understand, you know, the fear. The fear of speaking up because you're afraid of what other people would say. It's a real fear. And nobody's going to say that it doesn't exist. But for us, what is important is being able to ensure that we maintain confidentiality. If you look around, there aren't that many helplines that, that people can call. And the beauty of a helpline is not like, oh, I'm feeling bad. Okay, tomorrow morning I'll go and see a doctor. It's right here and now. Also, we have established the Lagos State Mental Health School Maps Program, which is essentially providing mental health awareness and prevention strategies to schools. And um, another project we have is the Maternal Mental Health Program, which focuses on postpartum depression with women. So we go to antenatal clinics to let them know what it is and what to look out for. Lagos State has done a good job of advocacy with the Lagos Helpline, which is giving people a number that you can call in at any time, a call centre, and talk about mental health issues. My name is Solisha De Francis. I experience depression, anxiety and stress. My name is Falakia Falano. I'm a lawyer and I was clinically diagnosed with depression in 2014. These mental illnesses don't define me and just tells you that we are all human. What separates us in the now is time, chance and circumstances. Everybody has the potential to have a mental health concern. Uh, people who are mentally challenged, they didn't plan to be mentally challenged. Mental health illness can happen to anybody. There's a very thin line between a mental health breakdown and a normal person. If you need someone you can always talk to, call the helpline. Ask for help and your colleague, your daughter, your friend, your husband will do better. People who look down on, on people with mental health challenges, all I've got to say to them is, well, I just pray yours doesn't come.